Kick hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to continue onward with the 1966 sunroof beetle that we are building for our good client Bill. And I just wanted to get you guys up to speed of where we are at with this car. We are almost done. Uh, wiring harness is in, all the chrome and nice little accessories are on. I do have to find a windshield for this car, uh, but we're getting on that. Um, tires are all good, new hubcaps, painted the rims, new beauty rims. I found these beauty rims, I keep finding them on eBay now, and they've actually uh, stainless steel um, on eBay for 15 inch rim and $40. Uh, you cannot beat that free shipping. Uh, just look up CCI on uh, eBay if you want to ever get these. They pop right on, they have good grip. Uh, and it's a it's a beautiful looking uh, beauty room. You can't beat that. So, so where are we at here? Uh, interior is done, pretty much. Just got to get the steering wheel all hooked up. I got to get the turn signal switch on. Got to get the speedo in. But pretty much all the carpets in. Uh, seats are done. Uh, door panels look really nice. Uh, Bill opted for no armrest or any sort of chrome trim or S trays in the doors or door panels. Uh, but we're coming along, uh, but what has been a good fight, uh, so to speak, would be this headliner. Uh, particularly the sunroof. I mean, the headliner itself, of course, was, was pretty easy for me. Uh, I do these often, uh, but the metal sunroof uh, sliding section has been difficult uh, to some degree. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, when you start getting the aftermarket parts, we had to get new cables uh, right here. And we bought these new pieces here from uh, Wolfsburg West. They give you this whole kit. They have a complete blowout on their website. If you ever go to WolfsburgWest.com, just scroll over Bug, and then you will see a drop-down menu come in and just click on Sunroof. And you will see on that page a blowout of the pieces that they offer. Now, of course, they just, in the beginning, nothing really fit right. Um, you got to understand when you put these on these plastic pieces they are not meant to be muscled down all right the especially with these screws that they give you uh, they will strip so you just tighten them down till just snug and use a small screwdriver if you have to um, or if you have a uh, you know a, an electric uh, screwdriver on a gun or something put it on a low setting you do not want to be stripping these screws and what we also noticed was this cover piece right here, the cables uh, feed through here and they kind of crisscross it away and the gear is in the center. And uh, we notice when we tighten these down, the more, the tighter we went, the more difficult it was to actually move this and the cables were binding and clicking and clacking and were not uh, meshing well. So we had to back off uh, to uh, relieve tension there. So. I am making a complete uh, how-to video to doing this and uh, I've been recording it bit by bit so I'll, I will be putting this together just like I've done with my convertible top or my multi-piece headliner videos. You'll get uh, great detail on how we do this. So some of the things like just right off the bat I wanted to mention to you is tweed headliner. You know I love tweed headliners. Um, I love the way the cloth is. But I will say that uh, the Tweet Headliner is a thicker material. So naturally, our first attempt yesterday at putting the, the Headliner piece in first, you know, there's a track in, I'm sorry, there's a track in here and you can see it's the lower track that the Headliner has to go and you literally have to just, you have to bend the square to get it into the track. I mean, we have the big book uh, from uh, Bentley that shows that's what they basically did. They bent, they kind of cocked it in a way to get it into the track. So once you get it in there, uh, with the tweed material on there, the sliding was not as smooth as, say, a vinyl, uh, just because vinyl is a little bit thinner material. So let's come over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's our square. And we did the upholstery on this. It looks good. Everything looks right. But you notice it's, it's a thick material. And, you know, we can clean this off. We have good material to clean that. But, uh, you know, this is where it slides. And it's, it's just thicker. Um, so 
Uh, it was my first attempt at doing a sliding headliner uh, sunroof with tweed. Vinyl has no problem sliding back and forth. Uh, so something to keep in mind if you are planning to go with tweed or cloth, uh, it is a thicker material compared to vinyl. And vinyl will naturally slide, uh, you know, a little bit easier. Uh, so we got that in and uh, of course as we were then ready to once we put that in then it was time to get the last piece in and uh, we hooked everything up and sure enough as we're starting to crank it back it was uh, skipping and jumping so we will get to that and uh, I will show you in detail what to do in my multi-part series that's coming out um, and some people ask about these felts these are perimeter felt, so they're meant to be glued on the perimeter of the opening. I get people that ask me if they put the felt, they glue it to the actual sliding top. Uh, and that's not the way it is. So I have seen people do that. They actually glue the felt to the outer perimeter of this, which uh, I guess that was not done factory. I mean, if you wanted to do that, I guess that's okay. Uh, but I think on a moving piece, you might jeopardize uh, the felt coming off. And naturally, you glue the felt, we glue it with uh, the spray adhesive, but I don't spray it on the body this time, uh, or spray it on, uh, say if you wanted to spray it on that, on, the, on the, the sliding roof. I would basically spray this either on a, you know, top of a coffee can, the plastic uh, top, spray that on the dish, and then I used a brush uh, to then dab come back over here I then use the glue to brush and dab glue on the felt material and on the body and then what you do is you make sure before you even do that you want to line up the felt this is one piece here so you see it ends right here this is the front piece this goes all the way around and you got to make sure it lines up on the other side as you see over there so we line that up, make sure we, we were centered right and aligned, and then we put tape, just uh, painter's tape on different sections just to hold us in place so it didn't pop away. And then each little section, we pulled this away, dabbed the glue on the felt and on the body, wait for it to get tacky, just, you know, tacky enough where you, when you touch your finger to it, it sticks just a bit. Dry on dry is how it works really, and you fasten it there and that 90 strength uh, spray adhesive works very well and that's how this felt goes in see how nice and neat that is that looks good so and then you want to do the same to the back now the back one is a little bit different there is no flat portion here like this on this the, the front felt it actually curves under so what's nice about this felt material is that it can bend and so you just have to bend this under and basically do the same process I showed you for the front. And uh, that's how you put that felt in. Now to also adjust the, going to adjusting these cables, this was a little um, a tricky, you know, so we had to do this a few times to figure out the placement of the, 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 uh, the, the solid roof and you have to adjust these cables back and forth inside this slider. This is the slider inside the track. So we figured what you have to do to really adjust that is you're going to have to take this center cover off and you pop the, the cables out of the gears and then you move the cables uh, for each side to get them lined up. We did notice, just for future note, See this screw here, this last screw here that holds the rails down is from here, the center of the screw head to this corner, an inch. Okay, that basically set up the center roof perfectly, you know, from front to back with even amount of gaps. So that seemed to work for us when you hook up the top to these pieces here. This piece right here hooks into the top, okay? And so what has to happen is it has to move forward enough, the top, so it kind of bumps here to the end. And then when you crank it one last like quarter turn, these pieces go up because this is getting pulled 
this slider is getting pulled to the front of the car and then these arms go up and that's what makes then the roof go up to be even here. So we were playing with this for quite a while back and forth and trying to figure out where these had to go. So once we then lined them up, we thought we had it lined up, we put then the, the, the top roof on again, try it again, crank it around, and then if it didn't work, have to take the top back off again, take this piece back off again, take the cables back off again, and then realign it. Uh, what you can do is you could leave the top on if you wanted, um, crank it back so you have some room to work here, take the center piece off, take the, the cables out, and then uh, you know, could kind of adjust it from there, but it was a little, it seemed a little difficult, so it seemed like we had to take the top off each time. Now, you're going to have to take the top off probably a bunch of times, again, like I said, to align this, uh, but then once you have it all aligned and everything's cranking right and the roof is operating right, then you got to take the top off again because then you got to get the center square piece in. Um, it's probably, it's best to work on that center roof prior to putting that uh, last piece headliner in. So. Anyways, I know, bit of a mouthful. Uh, I'm just kind of, uh, this, this car's been on the top of my head for, for quite a while now because we've been working on it. So I figured I'd do a video to where we are at at this point uh, and what we are uh, kind of uh, issues we experienced with, when doing the sunroof. And uh, like I said, I am doing a multi-part series how-to on it. Uh, so I think you guys will, uh, will like that when it comes out. I've been getting emails on that for many, many years to do a sunroof. A headliner installation and uh, we are working on it and just uh, please be patient a little bit longer and um, you know I'll be able to put this out so you just have to be patient there is there is some literature out there there are some books out there uh, my, and I mentioned last time my friend's uh, website um, 1967beetle.com Eric Shoemaker if you go to his website do a search for sunroof the first thing that comes up is a 67 sunroof in the in the zenith blue uh, there's a great document there on how to do this. Um, there's a few, you know, a few details maybe left out um, that I'm going to try to plug in there with my, my video. Um, so just go to WolfsburgWest.com and you, they have a blowout there of pretty much everything that is needed to complete this. You know, one of the things I did forget to buy at one point was the seal. There's a seal here that goes on the back end of the, uh, the top. Um, and it's, it's kind of a wacky seal. I, you know, when you see this seal, it's got grooves in it and it's got, it's got a ridge on it up here. And I couldn't tell which was top or bottom. So I had to call my friends at SoFine uh, and uh, speak to their department on how they do this because they do these installations all the time. So he clarified for me. Now, if you don't want to get this uh, seal or you forgot to get this seal, you can go to, say, uh, Home Depot or your local hardware store and pick up a weather strip seal, a window weather strip seal that's about this thick, maybe it's about, I don't know, that's maybe half inch, half inch uh, wide. And they have a self, a self stick on the back. You just peel off the, the white uh, paper and there's a self adhesive uh, stick on the back. You can, you can use that uh, as opposed to if you miss this piece. I know it seems pretty common that this is missed, but uh, so that's what you guys can do. Uh, so, and, um, that's it guys, uh, quick video. Just wanted to tell you where we're up to here on the uh, 66 sunroof. Pretty much all sunroof operation is probably very similar even to the later bugs uh, when it comes to installing these and the mechanics of them. So if you guys have any questions, uh, pop me an email, chris at classicbwbugs.com. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell. And uh, you know all that jazz with the social networking and such, it keeps us going here. So. Uh, I hope you like this, and uh, like I said, pop me an email if you got any questions. I will be coming out with a better video uh, in, in more detail in multiple chapters, most likely. So, okay, guys, take care. Uh -huh.